Nothing, and today is Monday, and I just got back from a movie, which I enjoyed a lot, and it's a movie that Julian has really been looking forward to, and it is a movie called Max. Now, Max is a dog that served in the Marines and had a master named Kyle. Kyle um, was shot and killed in battle after a very bad firefight. Max later returns back to the U.S. and is pretty much untrainable. And he's snapping and biting everyone and just being very ferocious. He then goes to Kyle's funeral and he tries as hard as he can to get to the coffin. And he refuses to leave at one point. So they then realize that Max will actually listen to Kyle's brother. And Kyle's brother um, walks him to the uh, walks him out, and they later on basically give them an ultimatum. They can either take Max in, or they could have to have him put down. And they decided to take Max in. Uh, Kyle's brother then goes on this very long and stressful journey to gaining Max's trust, and overall just connecting with him. Which was a very hard thing for Max, because uh, like humans, dogs apparently can contract PTSD. And so during the 4th of July fireworks, Matt, uh, Max had a bit of an issue with them. Anyway, they later on get in a lot of uh, trouble, which I'm not going to spoil because it's probably one of the more exciting parts of the movie that isn't in the trailer. So, I just thought it had a great message about the Marines and the respect we should give them, and honestly just the respect we should give to all of our troops. It talked about how it we had used dogs since World War I, and it was just a very, very compelling story that gave you a lot to think about. I know Juliana really wants to see it. Um, I bet y'all would want to see it, and I just really enjoyed myself while I was there. It had a lot to think about. It had a bunch of feel-good moments. It was just all out a very, very good movie, and I loved every m m minute of it. Anyway, James, that's all for this week. See you Thursday.